Recently, India has successfully tested phase two, the fast breeder stage of thorium reactors. Uh, how far are we from phase three in successfully developing it completely? Akash Rocks, Akash Rocks says, uh, "Do you see thorium-based power plants in the near future in India? Have our scientists cracked the formula to do so, or or do we still have a long way to go? Secondly, do you see lithium-based electric vehicles dominating the future? Do we have a good amount of lithium reserves?" and also reserves of other critical critical minerals on earth to support this change okay so let's talk about the the thorium angle the the phase 2 phase 3 of the indian nuclear program india has successfully tested one thorium reactor the fast breeder stage thorium reactor how far are we uh, from entering phase 3 developing successfully and what is the future of thorium based power plants in india so india is I'm sure most people would know, hopefully, that India has a three-stage nuclear power program. India has a three-stage nuclear power program, This was, which was developed in the 1950s, 1960s, somewhere around, around that time, by Dr. Homi Baba. So this program is was designed, it was, it was created, this plan was created to efficiently use India's reserves, resources. So India has limited uranium resources. India has to import uranium from uh, from other countries but india has abundant thorium resources reserves india has the highest amount of thorium anywhere in the world okay so considering these factors in mind the limited amount of uranium that we have and we have to import uranium from outside and we have so much thorium so then considering that considering all of this uh, the three stage uh, program was developed so the first stage is the pressurized heavy water reactors okay so these uh, reactors use pressurized heavy water uh, and uh, they uh, use natural uranium as fuel. So the objective of these reactors is to generate electricity and also to produce plutonium, plutonium-239 as a byproduct. Okay. So in these pressurized heavy water reactors, there is heavy water, which is deuterium dioxide. No, it's, it's D2O, deuterium. So D2O is used as the moderator and the coolant. Okay, so that is the first stage, the pressurized heavy water reactors. So these reactors use uranium as natural uranium, 238 as the fuel. And some of these uranium atoms absorb neutrons and they get converted into plutonium, plutonium 239. One, 238 plus one is 239. And they generate electricity and also simultaneously generate plutonium in the spent fuel. So that is the first stage. The, we have those reactors. The second stage is fast breeder reactors. So in fast breeder reactors, you are using a mixed oxide fuel, which is a blend of the plutonium-239 and the natural uranium. So you're not using simply uranium, you're, you're mixing it with plutonium-239, and that is the fuel that you're using in these fast breeder reactors. So the objective of these reactors is to breed more fuel than you are consuming and also to generate electricity. So the the fuel is going to be a mixture of uranium and plutonium, but it's going to generate even more plutonium than it consumes. And it's going to generate electricity. And in this, in such reactors, you're using liquid sodium as the coolant. Okay. So that is a fast breeder reactor. And that is what has been tested. So India was supposed to have entered the stage three of this three stage program a long time ago. But for whatever reason, we are, we are now entering phase two. And one of these reactors has apparently been tested. Okay, so we are not yet at the, at the thorium stage. You understand? We are still at the plutonium stage. We are now building fast breeder reactors that use a mixture of uranium and plutonium, that fuel to generate more plutonium and also generate electricity. That's where we are. The third stage is where you have advanced heavy water reactors and you're using thorium to breed uranium, which is fissile and which can be used as a fuel. So it uses what's called a, a closed fuel cycle to efficiently use thorium as the fuel. Thorium is not fissile, but it can absorb neutrons and it becomes uranium, which is fissile. So in the reactor, thorium absorbs, thorium is TH-232. It absorbs neutrons, it becomes TH-233, then it undergoes a decay, a beta decay, then it subsequently decays to uranium-233. And this uranium can be used as a fuel, it can sustain the reactor's operation and ensure a continuous fuel supply. So that is the three-stage program. We are still at stage two, which is not yet the thorium reactors. Okay. So 
the deal is that India has the world's largest reserves of thorium, which makes it a very attractive resource for long-term energy security for India. So this three-stage program, um, it, its objective is to reduce dependence on imported uranium and to leverage domestic, domestic resources, which is thorium and so on and so forth. So that is the deal. So that is where we are. The, the, India, the, the first stage has already been successfully implemented with numerous pressurized heavy water reactors which are operational in various parts of India. They're generating electricity. They're also generating plutonium, which is great. Okay. Stage two, we are entering stage two now and we have to demonstrate the viability of the Indian fast breeder reactor technology. Okay. And then when we have sufficient number of fast breeder reactors, then we will start entering, doing the development of advanced heavy water reactors for which can use thorium as the primary fuel. So that is where we are and that's the deal. So I don't know for what reason the, the program is is uh, delayed and, and so on, but I'm sure we have the means to get to stage three, hopefully soon enough. You need uh, funding, resources, government support and all that, but yeah, 